Chargers! Stand down! Prim! How'd we do? Five or six wounded, Chief. No dead. That's what I like to hear. Let the throat cutters finish up, then break out the casks. So, you're with the Inquisition, huh? Glad you could make it. Come on, have a seat. Drinks are coming. Nicely done. I hear you're looking for work. I am. Not before my drink, though. I assume you remember Chromicia Saclasi, my lieutenant. Good to see you again. Throat cutters are done, Chief. Already? Have them check again. I don't want any of those Tevinter bastards getting away. No offense, Krem. <laughs> None taken. At least a bastard knows who his mother was. Puts him one up on you, Canari, right? So, you've seen us fight. We're expensive, but we're worth it. <laughs> and I'm sure the Inquisition can afford us. How much is this going to cost me, exactly? Wouldn't cost you anything, personally. Unless you want to buy drinks later. Your ambassador, uh, what's her name? Josephine. We'd go through her and get the payments set up. Gold will take care of itself. Don't worry about that. All that matters is we're worth it. <laughs> the Chargers seem like an excellent company. They are. But you're not just getting the boys. You're getting me. You need a frontline bodyguard. I'm your man. Whatever it is. Demons? Dragons? The bigger the better. And there's one other thing. Might be useful. Might piss you off. Ever hear of the Ben Hasra? They're a Kunari organization, right? The equivalent of their guards in City Watch. I'd go closer to spies. But yeah, that's them. Or, well... Us. The Bin Hasrath are concerned about the breach. Magic out of control like that could cause trouble everywhere. I've been ordered to join the Inquisition, get close to the people in charge, and send reports on what's happening. But I also get reports from Ben Hasrath agents all over Olay. You sign me on, I'll share them with your people. You're a Kunari spy and you just... told me. Whatever happened at that Conclave thing, it's bad. Someone needs to get that breach closed. So whatever I am, I'm on your side. You still could have hidden what you are. From something called the Inquisition? <laughs> I'd have been tipped sooner or later. Better you hear it right up front from me. What would you send home in these reports of yours? Enough to keep my superiors happy. Nothing that'll compromise your operations. The Canari want to know if they need to launch an invasion to stop the whole damn world from falling apart. You let me send word of what you're doing, it'll put some minds at ease. That's good for everyone. What's in these Ben Hasrath reports you're offering to share? Enemy movements, suspicious activity, intriguing gossip. It's a bit of everything. Alone they're not much, but if your spy master is worth a damn, she'll put him to good use. She? <laughs> I did a little research. Plus, I've always had a weakness for redheads. All right, you're in. Excellent. Prem, tell the men to finish drinking on the road. The Chargers just got hired. What about the casks, Chief? We just opened them up with axes. Find some way to seal them. You're Tervinta, right? Try blood magic. We'll meet you back. They've got good form. Cullen's putting his Templar training to good use. Did Cullen tell you he was a Templar? He's not wearing the armor. He didn't have to. Might not be a Templar shield, but it's a Templar holding it. He angles the shield just a bit down. Helps direct fire or acid away, so it doesn't spray right into your face. Canari learned the same thing when we trained to fight to Vinter Mages. Your Templar's doing good work. I'm impressed by what Cullen has accomplished with the troops. Damn right. It takes time to build a group into a team. But he's got their loyalty. Now he just needs them to make a decent shield wall, and they'll be good to go. Biggest problem for the Inquisition right now isn't on the front line. It's at the top. You've got no leader. No Inquisitor.
Then maybe we need one. I'd be willing. You? Huh. Why you? I've got the mark on my hand. I've sealed Fade Rifts, and hopefully I'll seal the Breach as well. That means you have a skill. That doesn't necessarily mean you should be deciding alliances. My people don't pick leaders from the strongest, or the smartest, or even the most talented. We pick the ones willing to make the hard decisions, and live with the consequences. Ah, who knows? Maybe you seal the Breach. The Tantry gets off its ass, and all those soldiers go home and get fat. You think? It could happen. It won't. But it could. What's going on? I'd like to know more about your work with the Ben Hasrath. Ben Hasrath is actually a general term. You've got the secret police who investigate problems inside our territory. You've got the re-educators who take people with problems and fix their minds. Or make them disappear. And then you've got the spies. How do the re-educators work? Well, I only know the basics. Wasn't my area. That said, keep a man awake long enough. Ask the right questions, give the right potions, and you can get him to say anything. You don't need blood magic or demons to change someone's mind. We're a lot more fragile than we'd like to believe. You can alter someone's beliefs that easily. One of my friends was a re-educator. He said that every memory is like the page of a book. When you examine a memory, you're turning to that page. And when you're there, the page is laid bare. Write a few notes in the margins of the page. Erase a word here and there. And your whole outlook changes. Always felt a little weird reading after that conversation. The re-educators sound horrible. Yeah, they probably do. Here's the thing, though. What happens in Orlais when you commit a crime or betray a lord? They just lop your head off. At least the Canari try to fix you. None of those sound exactly like you. Yeah, I was a special case. They sent me to Saharan because they needed someone who could fight and hunt down problems. That whole island was a sack of cats. Incursions from Tevinta, Talvashath, and native rebels fighting both sides. And in the middle, me. Trying to wrangle the rebels and restore order. I can't imagine that was easy. Nope. I hunted down a lot of rebels. Lost a lot of friends to the Vince, or the Fog Warriors, or the Talvashath. One day I woke up and couldn't think of a damned reason to keep doing my job. Turn myself into the re-educators. Not many people would have the courage to do that. I thought about letting some rebel kill me, but I couldn't give any of those bastards the satisfaction. The Ben Hasrath ordered me to go to Orlais, ostensibly as a Talvashoth, and work undercover. That's how I ended up here. I'm glad you're here, Boo. Me too. If you ever need to talk more about all this, let me know. Nah, it was a long time ago. Thanks, though. Can I help you? I'd like to know more about the Kunari. You writing a book? It's your culture, and I'd like to know you better. You could just ask. I am. All right. What do you want to know? How do the Kunari rule themselves? It's pretty simple. We've got the matriarchy, the priesthood, and the military. The priesthood figures out how Kanari should live in theory. The matriarchy makes it work in practice. And the military keeps the Kanari safe from outside threats. Does it actually work like that? Is there much infighting? <laughs> Not like you're thinking of. People disagree, yeah, but the priests are there to solve disagreements. Here in Orlais, politicking comes from people putting their own gain ahead of the gains of society. If you do that among the Canari, the Ben Hasrath set you straight, or kill you. I've heard there's no marriage among the Kunari. Yeah, that's true. Kunari love our friends like anyone does, but we don't have sex with them. Kunari don't have sex? 
<laughs> oh, we definitely have sex. There are Tamasrans who pop your cork whenever you need it. Seriously? Yes. It's not a big deal like it is here. It's like... I don't know. Going to see a healer. Sometimes it's this long, involved thing. It takes all day. Leaves you walking funny. Other times you're in and out in five minutes. Thank you. See you next week. So, you've never really made love? Connected with someone in both body and soul? I don't know. One time they used this thing called the Sato Nerapan. It's a leather-wrapped rod on a harness. That wasn't really my soul, though. Also, there were more than two people. How is everyday life different for Kunari? Well, depends on your job, I guess. Some are just about the same. A baker in Valroyo gets up, gets dressed, and starts work. A baker in Parvolan does the same thing. They don't care about the Empire or the Cube. Mostly they worry about breaking eggs and hope the dough rises right. It can't be exactly the same. The Kunari have no personal freedoms. How many personal freedoms do you figure that baker in Valroyo has? Life isn't about freedom. The Baker in Parvolin wonders if she'll be given enough eggs to do her work. Will they come on time? Will the kitchen workers get her bread while it's fresh, or will they come late and blame her because it's stale? Same crap in Valroyo. People are just people. What's it like growing up under the Cune? The Tamasrans raise us in these units of kids all our own age. They're like teachers or Chantry sisters. They also helped figure out what jobs we should do. They had me pegged for military work early on. When they learned I could hit stuff and lie, they started training me for the Bin Hasra. That must have been a good day for you. Yes, it's like being a block of stone with a sculptor working on you. One day, the last of the crap gets knocked off, and you can see your real shape. What you're supposed to be. That's a good day. Do you ever think about what would happen if the Kunari conquered Orlay or Ferelden? Some folks, like Cassandra or Cullen, would do fine if they didn't die fighting. Those two love rules. But the mages. Can you imagine Solus trying his fade dreaming under the cune? Or Vivian doing her political bullshit? Both Sarah and Varric would mouth off until they ended up re educated, drugged until their minds broke. So, to answer your question, no, I don't think about it much at all. The word Kunari, is that the race or the religion? Both. Kind of. The humans and elves who follow the Kuhn are the Vidathari. The Kunari who break away from the Kuhn are Talvasha, deserters. What about Kunari who existed before the Kuhn? The people we came from. They're called the Kasith, but we don't use that word for the race. We came south to Thedas because the Kasith were... I don't know. We had to leave. The stories aren't clear. But I don't expect they look much like us. Whatever they are. See you later, Bull. See ya. Can I help you? So, how did you get the name Iron Bull? I picked it. We don't have names under the queue. Just... I don't know. Job descriptions, I guess. When I came to Orlais, I chose the Iron Bull for myself. But why specifically Iron Bull? This may surprise you, but I really like hitting things. Also, it's THE Iron Bull, technically. I like having an article at the front. It makes it sound like I'm not even a person, just a mindless weapon. An implement of destruction. That really works for me. See you later, Bull. See ya. <sighs> demons. It had to be demons. Getting into your head. Messing around. <clears throat> if you're nervous about demons, I can protect you. My blade pretty much protects me. Perhaps I can do things your blade can't. I don't know. It has blood grooves. Well, technically, it's the Fuller, but Blood Grooves sounds so much more violent. Anyway, 
I hope our new friends have what it takes to close the breach. Damn thing gives me a headache just looking at it. Inquisitor, huh? Well, you've got the fortress for it. Speaking of which, when you've got a second, there's something I want to show you. What did you want me to come see? Here, come on. I'll show you. Why am I dressed like this? You'll see. Come on. It'll be worth your time, I promise. Evening. Iron Bull. My merc band just joined up. Tanner. I'm from Jader. Well, Mir Jader. Mira. I was guard captain for Lady Pendel. Signed on after shit blew up at the Conclave. Share a drink? Who's your friend? This is Grim. She doesn't talk much. Huh. So, you ready to kill some demons? Or Venatori, or whatever that Corypheus asshole is? This isn't just about killing. We're helping the Inquisitor save the world and build the next empire. Hmm. Well, long as I get paid, I'm happy. That's why I signed up. I just couldn't spend my whole life on a farm. Needed to live a little, you know. What about you, Mira? Why'd you join up? I thought you were serving some noble. I saw what happened at Haven. The Inquisitor staring down that monster and his archdemon. I don't sing the chant of light as much as I should. But you can't see something like that and not believe. Well... Grim and I should find our tents. Thanks for the drink. I know every soldier under my command. You don't have that option. But a few faces might help. You made it sound like you didn't like the Inquisition. People don't always tell the truth when you're polite. You've got to poke them a bit. But those two soldiers might think you're an asshole. So? It was good to get their perspective. Yeah. Sounds like we could use an easy win for boys like Tanner. And vets like Mira have seen enough to be wary. You've got a good army coming along. Remember that. No matter what comes next. Inquisitor! Come, have a drink! To killing a high dragon like warriors of legend! What exactly am I supposed to be drinking? Maras Lok. What does that mean? It means drink! <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Put some chest on your chest. Mm, that little gurgle right before it spat fire. And that roar. What I wouldn't give to roar like that. The way the ground shook when it landed. The smell of the fires burning. Tarsidathan Halsam. You know, Kunari hold dragons sacred. Well... As much as we hold anything sacred. <laughs> Here. Your turn. That thing you just said, you shouted it during the fight, too. What does it mean? Oh, Tarsadathan Halsam. Closest translation would be, I will bring myself sexual pleasure later, while thinking about this with great respect. You shouted that while it was breathing fire at us. I know, right? <clears throat> yes, the second cup's easier. Most of the nerves in your throat are dead after the first one. Atashi, the glorious ones. That's our word for them. Atashi. Why do you think the Gunari think of dragons that way? Well, you know how we have horns. We kind of look more... dragony than most people. Maybe it's that. But 
A few of the Ben Hasrath have this crazy old theory. See, <clears throat> the Tamathrans control who we mate with. They breed us for jobs like you'd breed dogs or horses. What if they mixed in some dragon a long time ago? Maybe drinking the blood, maybe magic, I don't know. But something in that dragon we killed... <sighs> spoke to me. When you put it like that, I'm worried I killed one of your gods or something. Nah, one of Tevinta's gods, maybe. They worship dragons, right? Kill the shit out of them all you like. Dragons are the embodiment of raw power. But it's all uncontrolled. Savage. So, they need to be destroyed. Taming the wild. Order out of chaos. <laughs> Have another drink. <coughs> nice! To dragons! <coughs> so finding the biggest, baddest things in the world and showing them that we're badder. Anan! Again. Again. Uh, come on. This is why the Kuhn doesn't like women fighting. I should have asked Cullen. Uh, good one. <laughs> Perhaps you can take over. Gunnari training exercise to master your fear. Been a while since I needed it, but that nightmare demon was... <sighs> big. Can you explain why I'm supposed to hit you with this stick? Probably, if I try. It'd involve a lot of Kunari words, though. Just hit me with the stick, all right? I need to get over this demon crap. All right. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Damn demon! Ah! Who's stuck in the fade, huh? Ah! That nightmare wanted to tear you in half. Ah! Not a chance. Piece of fade, piece of crap. Ah! And who killed you? Ah! That's right. Iron fucking ball. Ah! Oh. Ah. I needed that. Uh, thanks, boss. Uh. Didn't know you liked it that rough. <sighs> Only from you, boss. <laughs> Only from you. Now, a fort. You're doing good work, boss. I like how this Inquisition is coming. Next time you're free, why don't you come grab a drink? I'll introduce you to the Chargers. You said we should go get some drinks and meet your company. Yeah, come on. It'll be fun. Ah, good. We're not drinking alone. How you doing, creme de la creme? Your worship. I'm so glad he has someone new to hit with that joke. Do you prefer creme or cremesius? Creme's faster. The chief's nicknames usually end up sticking. Hey, when I was growing up, my name was just this series of numbers. We all give each other nicknames under the Kuhn. They ever wear shirts under the Kuhn, Chief? Or do they just run around binding their breasts like that? It's a harness, Krem. Yes, for your pillowy man bosoms. Let me know if you need help binding. You could really chisel something out of that overstuffed look. Who are the others? A lot of the Chargers went looking off for stronger drinks. Let's see, who's left? We've got Rocky and Skinner there. And over there are Stitches, Dalish, <laughs> and Grim. Crazy bunch of assholes, but they're mine. 
Were you born on the surface, or are you from Orzammar? Orzammar. I got exiled. Stupid noble crap. Also, I accidentally blew up a bit of the shape rate. Rocky's one of our best sappers. He can take down enemy fortifications faster than a golem. I'm also working on my own version of Kunari Black Powder. I've almost got it. Yeah, you really don't. Why aren't you with your clown? Our keeper thought I should see the world a little. Dalish don't have Templars, so they can't have too many mages in a clan at once. Now, sir, you know I'm not a mage. That'd make me an apostate. You carry a staff, Dalish. It's a bow. A bow with a giant glowing crystal at the tip. Yes, it's for aiming. Old elven trick you wouldn't understand. I take it you're the company healer. Yes, first time I ever picked up a sword was when the blight hit Ferelden. Never put it back down. He makes a potion that'll put you right back on your feet after even the toughest fight. It tastes terrible, though. That's because it's a poultice, sir. You're not supposed to drink it. So, how'd you join the Chargers? Killed some people. Skinner didn't take kindly to nobles testing their new swords on the elves in her alienage. Bull took me in. Now I get paid to kill Shams. This is actually really good behavior for her. She's not marking her territory or anything. Grim, is it? Hmm. Grim doesn't talk much. I'm pretty sure he's the lost king of some small country, or chieftain, something like that. Hmm. You've got a good company, Bull. Ah, we do all right. No man can beat the Chargers, cause we'll hit you where it hurts. Unless you know a tavern with loose cards and looser skirts. For every bloody battlefield will gladly raise a cup. No matter what tomorrow holds, our horns be pointing up! <laughs> Thanks for coming by, boss. Glad you could meet some of my team. Man, those serving girls are frisky. Can you tell me more about Saharon? It was a damn ugly place. Only getting uglier when I left. Between the Fog Warriors, the Talvashoth, my people, and the Vince. You were lucky to go a day without blood. <sighs> what do you want to know? What were the Fog Warriors like? They were the worst of the rebels. They trained for stealth attacks. They made this fog. I never saw any mages, so I figured it was alchemy, not magic. They were almost invisible in it. I'd be on patrol in the market square. The fog would roll in, and before I knew it, half my squad dead without a sound. It almost sounds like you admire them. They didn't use poison. They didn't hurt civilians, and they were damn good fighters. You have to respect that. Plus, they hit the Vince as hard as they hit us. Hearing some terrified magister scream, My slaves! Where are my slaves? In the fog always put a smile on my face. Tell me about the Talvashoth. When Kanari can't handle the fighting in Saharan, or lose faith in the Kuhn, they go rogue. They flee into the wilderness and turn into bandits, attacking everyone. They're vicious, savage. You look at them and you can see why my people needed the Kune to stay civilized. Isn't that what you did, though? Hey, when I burned out, I didn't go rogue. I reported in and went where the Ben Hasrath sent me. I'm doing my job, serving the Kune out here. I'm not some bandit. I am nothing like them. Tell me about the Tevinter people you fought. The Vince sent forces to Saharan every autumn. Guess they didn't like the summer heat. We had some good fights on the beaches, standing in knee-high water foaming red with blood, ships on fire around us. The cities were worse. Free bit of advice. Don't let the Inquisition forces get suckered into urban combat. Why do you hate to venture forces so much? What makes them so bad? It's not their armies. It's their spies. They bloodied Saharan year-round, killing loyalists, supporting rebels. Alam had no city administrator. Nobody would accept the position. The last four who held it died inside a year. Trying to conquer a country is one thing. Making it so nobody can live there? That just screws everyone. What are things like for the natives of Saharan? 
I remember one guy. He made these things, fish wrapped in thin bread. Nice guy. Talk to him every morning. So, one time I'm asking about his bad back, and I see he's nervous, trying to tell me something with his eyes. Next thing I know, his assistants draw knives and come at my team. The rebels had forced him to poison my food. And then? I'd seen how nervous he was, so I hadn't eaten anything. A couple of my guys weren't so lucky. We killed the rebels. I lost two men to the poison, another to knife wounds. My friend who made the fish wraps died with a knife in his throat. Close quarters fight. He was caught in the middle. That is what things are like for the natives of Saharan. See you later, Bull. Nice talking with you, boss. Hey, that elven redhead who makes the buns in the kitchen. Is she available? Because I'm getting signals. I'd like to hear more about the charges. Always happy to talk about my guys. What do you want to know? How did you start the group? It's easy to make a name for yourself as a merc when you're a head taller than most folks. I spent a year or two working for Fisher's Bleeders, but their captain was crap. Figured I could do better. The best folks in the Bleeders agreed with me, so we split off. I imagine Fisher disagreed. <laughs> he came at me. I snapped his sword in half, and we talked things out over drinks. What are the craziest jobs you've ever taken? Besides this one, <laughs> there's a lot of violence between the nobles here, but that's standard work. The fun stuff is when they party. They always want to impress each other, and that means getting something shiny. We've hunted weavens, fought through caves to find some old magical crap, even when giant baiting once. What's giant baiting? So this old guy, Comte Van Chess, has some kind of a pageant planned. But he needs a giant, which is off in some damn cave. He's got some kind of rare charm to control the giant, but no way he's going into that cave himself. So we go in, kill some spiders, find the giant, and wake it up. It attacks us because of course it does, and we let the big bastard chase us outside where Van Chess is waiting. That was actually your plan, to let a giant chase you? Yeah. We had to stay out of reach, but close enough that it wouldn't give up. It was tricky. Good news is the giants are slow. Long as my guys ahead could clear out the spiders, we were fine. Bad news is the giant spiderwebs slow you down a bit more than you think. But at least Comte Van Chess got his giant for the pageant. Eh. Turned out that charm was a phony. Giant ate the poor guy alive. It's okay, though. We still got paid. You have people from plenty of different backgrounds in your group. Yes, well, when you're in Orlay and you look like me, you can't be picky about who you take in. A lot of them got turned away from other companies that didn't want a knife here, or a crazy dwarf. Their loss. You get my back in a fight and carry your own weight, you're good with me. I'd like to know more about Krem. He's a good soldier, and a better second in command. The troops need someone to complain to when I'm being a hard ass. He's good for that. You don't have a problem with him being from Tevinta? Nah. But you hate the Vints. Sure, but he's not a Vint. He's just Krem. I can get worked up about a group or a nation just fine, but people... It's too much work to hate them one by one. You don't have any problems with him being a woman? He's not a woman. Look, I've got horns, you've got pointy ears, and those freaky big elf eyes. We're probably not the best people to go around deciding what's normal. Krem's a good man. I don't give a nug's ass that it's a little harder for him to piss standing up. See you later, Bull. Nice talking with you, boss. Ah! Come on, Krem. I'm working my ass off trying to get you to see that move. You still got plenty of ass left, Chief. Uh, your worship. Glad you came by. I got a letter from my contacts in the Ben Hasrath. Already verified it with red. Do you want to discuss this alone? Not like I was hiding it from my boys. Besides, right now, I need to hit something. You know they've got training dummies, Chief. The training dummy might actually defend itself against the shield bash. Anyway, the Ben Hasrath letter. What did the letter say? The Bilhasrath have been reading my reports. 
They don't like Corypheus or his Venatori. And they really don't like Red Lyrium. They're ready to work with us. With you, boss. The Kunari and the Inquisition joining forces. That could be a powerful alliance. My people have never made a full-blown alliance with a foreign power before. This would be a big step. They found a massive Red Lyrium shipping operation out on the coast. They wanted us to hit it together. Talked about bringing in one of their dreadnoughts. Always wanted to see one of those big war ships in action. Did you see that? Go get some water. They're worried about tipping the smugglers, so no army. My chargers, you, maybe some backup. What does this alliance really get us? They wouldn't use the word alliance if they didn't mean it. Naval power. More Ben Hasrath reports. Gunari soldiers pointed at the Venatori. It could do a lot of good. You don't seem entirely happy about this. No, I'm good. It's... Uh... I'm used to them being... over there. It's been a while. I thought the Kunari wanted to extend their reach to the whole world. Yeah. Just didn't think I'd see it. Look, the Kuhn answers a lot of questions. It's a good life for a lot of people. But it's a big change. And a lot of folks here wouldn't do so well under that kind of life. I guess it's not like we're converting. This is just us joining forces against Corypheus. On that front, I think we're good. I think the Inquisition could use some help from the Kunari. Good. I'll pass on word to Colin and Red. We can set up the meeting whenever you're ready. Good to see you again, Hisrad. Gat! Last I heard, you were still in Saharan. They finally decided I'd calm down enough to go back into the world. Boss, this is Gat. We work together in Saharan. It's a pleasure to meet you, Inquisitor. Hisrad's reports say you're doing good work. Iron Bull's name is Hisrad. Under the Kuhn, we use titles, not names. My title was Hisrad, because I was assigned to secret work. You can translate it as Keeper of Illusions, or... Liar. It means liar. Well, you don't have to say it like that. I look forward to working together. Hopefully this will help both our peoples. Tevinter is dangerous enough without the influence of this Venatori cult. If this new form of Lyrium helps them seize power in Tevinter, the war with Kunandar could get worse. With this stuff, the Vince could make their slaves into an army of magical freaks. We could lose Sahara and see a giant Tevinter army come marching back down here. The Ben Hasrath agree. That's why we're here. Our Dreadnought is safely out of view and out of range of any Venatori mages on shore. We'll need to eliminate the Venatori, then signal the Dreadnought so it can come in and take out the smuggler ship. There might be Venatori mages on the ship as well. If the Dreadnought can't handle them... It's unlikely there'll be more than two or three mages on the ship, and they'll be dead by the third shot. On land, though, a half-dozen Venatori attacking the Dreadnought from cover could do some serious damage. If it's dangerous for the Dreadnought close to shore, why not attack when the smugglers reach open water? Any decent smuggling ship can outrun a Dreadnought on open water. We need to catch them close to shore. I could have crushed any Venatori resistance with the Inquisition's main forces. Why not use them? Because then the Venatori would have seen you coming and run. They'd schedule a new shipment for later, and our spies might not know when or where. This is risky, yes. But it's our best chance to destroy the shipping operation permanently. What do you think, Bull? Mm, don't know. I've never liked covering a Dreadnought run. Too many ways for crap to go wrong. If our scouts underestimate enemy numbers, we're dead. If we can't lock down the Venatori mages, the ship is dead. It's risky. Riskier than letting Red Lyrium into Minrathos? Let's go hold up our end of this bargain, then. My agent suggested two possible locations the Venatori may be camped to guard the shore. There, and there. We'll need to split up and hit both at once. I'll come with you, boss. Krim can lead the charges. Let me fill him in. Come by when you're ready to move.
Once they're down, send up your signal. That'll let the Dreadnought know it's safe to come in. Understood, Chief. Remember, you're gonna want a volley to start, but don't get suckered into fighting at range. They've got mages. It's all right. We've got a mage of our own. I'm not a mage! Get in close and take their enchanter down before he takes over the battlefield. He'll be dead before he knows it. Just... pay attention, all right? The Vince want this Red Lyrium shipment bad. Yes, I know. Thanks, Mother. Kunari don't have mothers, remember? We'll be fine, Chief. All right, Chargers. Horns up! Horns up! Ready whenever you are, boss. I'm ready to head out, Bo. Right. Chargers, hit them hard and hit them fast. When this is over, drinks are on me. You got it, Chief. Chargers, double time. Let's move! We're clear, Gat. Right. Signaling the Dreadnought. Chargers already sent theirs up. See them down there. I knew you gave them the easier job. There's the Dreadnought. That brings back memories. <laughs> nice one. Crap. The Chargers can't stand against that kind of force. No, they can't. Your men need to hold that position, Bull. They do that. They're dead. And if they don't, the Venatori retake it and the Dreadnought is dead. You'd be throwing away an alliance between the Inquisition and the Canari. You'd be declaring yourself Talvashoth. With all you've given the Inquisition, half the Ben Hasra think you've betrayed us already. I stood up for you, Hisrad. I told them you would never become Talvashoth. They're my men. I know, but you need to do what's right, Hisrad, for this alliance and for the Kuhn. Call the retreat. Don't! They are falling back. All these years, Hisrad, and you throw away all that you are. For what? For this? For them? We can make this up to your people. No. You can't. No way they'll get out of range. Won't be long now. Bo, oh, when the Dreadnought sinks... Sinks? Canary Dreadnoughts don't sink. Come on, let's get back to my boys. Hey, boss. Inquisitor, it is my duty to inform you that there will be no alliance between our peoples. Nor will you be receiving any more Ben Hasrath reports from your Talvishoth ally. You under orders to kill me, Gat? No. The Ben Hasrath have already lost one good man. They'd rather not lose two. So much for that. You all right, Bull? Yeah. Guess I'll have more free time without having to write all those reports. Bull. Boss, let me have this one, all right? This one needs to be mine. You're late. Sorry, Chief. Still sore from fighting off all those events. 
Good to see you, Inquisitor. That fight against the Venatori was a bit dicey. We knew that you and the Chief had our backs, Your Worship. The Chief's even breaking open a cask of chasing sackmead for the charges tonight. Damn it, Krem. That's the kind of thing you don't have to mention to the Inquisitor. Sorry, Chief. Ah, forget it. You're doing fine. You wanted to see me? Yeah, yeah, my soul's dust. Yours is scattered all over the ground, though, so... Ah. Sorry, boss. I thought I might need backup. Guess I'm not even worth sending professionals for. You knew the assassins were coming? Little change in the god rotation tipped me off. Are you all right? Fine. Hurt myself worse than this fooling around in bed. What if they used poison? Oh, they definitely used poison. Sarkamek, liquid form. If I hadn't been dosing myself with the antidote, I'd be going crazy and puking my guts up right now. As it is, it stings like shit. But that's about it. Are you interested in getting some payback? Against who? The entire Ben Hasra? Besides, this wasn't serious. Sending two guys with blades against me? That's not a hit. That's a formality. Just making it clear that I'm Talva Shoth. <sighs> Talva fucking Shoth. You acted like a Talva Shoth for years. That didn't change you. Neither does this. That was just a role. This is my life. As one of those. I've killed hundreds of Talvashoth in Saharan. Bandits, murderers, bastards who turned their back on the Kuhn. And now I'm one of them. Bullshit. You're a good man. Without the Kuhn to live by. Hey! You're a good man. If the Ben Hasrath don't see that, it's their loss. Thanks, boss. <sighs> anyway, I'll get this cleaned up and let Red know what happened. Boss, whatever I miss, Whatever I regret, this is where I want to be. Whenever you need an ass kicked, the Iron Bull is with you. So, listen, I've caught the hints. I get what you're saying. You want to ride the bull. Can't say I blame you, but I'm not sure you know what you're asking. Not sure if you're ready for it. Oh, I'm ready for it. See, you say that, but you really don't know what that means. So why don't you show me? Last chance. A little slower and a lot harder. Is the Inquisitor inside? I have some information that may be... No. Let her rest. I can't understand how those women in the kitchen can be awake so early after the night we had. I'd like to talk in private. All right. What's going on, boss? We need to talk about what happened between us. Oh, that. Sure. What's on your mind?
You are, and I'd like you on the rest of me too. I thought I read you right. Ben Hasrath training, remember? Grew up learning to manipulate people. When it's a hostile target, you give them what they want. But when it's someone you care about, you give them what they need. Oh, I have a need. And I can meet that need. But first, ground rules, just so everyone's clear. I will never hurt you without your permission. You will always be safe. If you're ever uncomfortable, if you ever want me to stop, you say Kato, and it's over. No questions asked. That sounds reasonable. You don't need to be afraid. Unless you want to. Take me. Can do. What can I do for you? I'd like to talk about you and me. Sure, boss. What's up? So what is this? What are we doing? That's up to you, boss. If you want it light and casual, that's fine with me. How do Kunari show that they're serious about a relationship? They don't. We don't have sex for love. But for someone we really care about, there is an old tradition. You find a dragon's tooth, break it in half, and you each wear a piece. Then, no matter how far apart life takes you, you're always together. Do you have some free time? For you, always. I do for you. I have something for you. Really? Well, I think I've got something for you too. Come on, I'll go first. There we go. No Inquisition. No war. Nothing outside this room. Just you and me. So, what do you want to talk about? Sorry to disturb your rest, Inquisitor, but our fortif- uh, Oh, sweet maker. Cullen, how's it going? Is the Inquisitor awake? I thought perhaps we- oh. <clears throat> Can I help either of you with something? I I'm so sorry. I cannot move my legs. Is something the matter- oh! oh, for fuck's sake. Do you see this? No. So, I take it... Actually, she's the one who's been taking it. <laughs> I apologize for interrupting what I assume was a momentary diversion. Uh, nothing wrong with having a bit of fun. Who wouldn't be a little curious? This was more than just a momentary diversion, and Bull and I intend to continue. Is that a problem? No. Not at all. A surprise, I'll admit. But not a problem. We'll leave you be. Yes. Do enjoy yourselves. <sighs> you okay, boss? I believe we may have blinded poor Cullen. But since we have a moment... What's that? A dragon's tooth, split in two. So no matter how far apart life takes us, we're always together. Not often people surprise me, Kadan. Kadan? Kadan. My heart. Kadan. They ran out of that cheese dip, asked for more, and they gave me this... look. The assholes. How you doing? 
It's been a long day. At least we got to the end of it alive. That's more than some can say. Cullen's giving orders now. We're just about good here. Come on. The music's finally got enough of a beat to dance to. I'd love to. Good. They're out of food. You know I've got no problem with Orlesians, but Halam Sharal was a mess. At least under the Cune, you don't get everyone tripping on each other's dicks while the country goes to crap. You've got a way with words, Bull. I do what I can. Maybe we can find some other uses for that mouth of yours. Yeah. When is the next meal, anyway? Orlesian food always leaves me hungry. The risk so to kill Corypheus, all we have to do is kill his dragon first? That's easy. We're good at killing shit. Just one more big fight to put this Magister asshole down for good. I knew you'd get us here, boss. It's been an honor, Bull. Oh, don't get like that. This isn't goodbye. We're kicking this guy's ass. I see. What a novel result. And look at you. All not dead. Nice work, Kadan. That was the Tevinterest Vint in the history of all Vints. The original mold from which subsequent Vints were cast. And I got to help kick the shit out of him. <laughs> Good times, boss. Good times. There's no one I would have rather had at my side, Bull. Same here. I got to kill another dragon and fight a Vint. Those poor bastards on the ground had demons. It's weird. I joined the Inquisition under orders from the Ben Hasrath and stayed because Corypheus was an asshole. Now that it's done, I've got no orders. For the first time in my life, I can go wherever I want. You know I'll find you the best fights. I know, I know. Anyway, the only place I'm going tonight is back for more drinks. To us being alive, and the bad guys not. Ah, Anan. Hey, Kadan. I know we talked, but you got a minute before you do your big thing. For you always. You've stood strong against everything. Never flinched. You are the toughest, wisest, most beautiful person I've ever met, Kadan. And I can't tell you how proud I'm gonna be watching you out there, addressing the whole Inquisition. <sighs> With this big, old love bite on your neck. <sighs> You ass! Your Worship, I'm glad you're here. Listen, I need you to keep the Chief distracted while we sneak this dragon skull through the room behind him. Wait, what? It's for his birthday. Do Kanari even have birthdays? All right, here he comes. Just keep him talking. He loves talking. Kadan, made time for a drink. You know, I've been asking around about new equipment for us. There's a merchant in Valrio who sells these silver rods with little cuffs that work like stocks. I prefer rope work myself. Knots are easier to adjust and more intimate. But if it's stocks you want, you're worth it. Maybe the merchant will throw in some clamps, too. You know what, Bull? I really like hitting things. <laughs> I know, right? We have the best job. <sighs>
It's good to see that the veil has largely healed, now that most of the major rifts are closed. You might think otherwise, but the veil isn't technically a physical barrier. It's more like a magical vibration that repels the fade. Hmm. I'm sorry, I can't do this. Sure you can. They must have that thing almost across the room by now, right? Ben Hasrath, remember. Surprise! Happy birthday, Chief! Oh, you guys! You got me! Liliana told us about what happened with your hand. So this is it, huh? Whatever happens, I wouldn't trade the years we've had together for anything. I love you. Love you too, Kadam. But we cannot lose the Inquisition now. We stand on the brink of war with the Canari. Yes, because this Solas provoked them in the first place. The Inquisition did not cause this threat. We informed the summit of the danger. The danger posed by Konari spies inside your organization. Without our organization, none of us would be here to complain. <sighs> no one has forgotten what you have done. But Corypheus is two years dead. If the Inquisition is to continue, it must do so as a legitimate organization, not a glorified mercenary band. Inquisitor. You all know what this is? A writ. From Divine Justinia authorizing the formation of the Inquisition. We pledge to close the breach, find those responsible, and restore order, with or without anyone's approval. It wasn't a formally authorized treaty that saved Ferelden's people. It wasn't careful diplomacy that ended your inane civil war. It was never about the organization. It was about people doing what was necessary. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a world to save. Again. Effective immediately, the Inquisition is disbanded. <gasps> My agents have found nothing. With the Illuvians, he could be anywhere. 
With the Inquisition officially disbanded, we have no army, no formal alliances. We have what we truly need. We will need to be careful. Solas knows everything about us. Who we are, how we work, our strengths, and weaknesses. Then we find people he doesn't know. We will stop Solas by any means necessary.